Imagine your brain is a car. Your IQ can be thought of as the car's engine, determining how far and fast you can move along a straight road or process information. In reality, however, the roads we travel down are full of bends, signposts, and traffic. Every day, we encounter different rules, people, tasks, and information. Just like a car, our brains must be able to steer, changing how we respond and act in different situations. This is our cognitive steering. Our research has identified that there are four levers that you can pull to effectively steer. Steering our self-disclosure allows us to regulate how visible we make our thoughts, feelings, opinions, and ideas. Like a theatre, we can keep our audience watching our front stage performance, or we can invite people backstage to see behind the curtain. Over time, our cognitive steering can develop biases in how it steers the road ahead. We may develop a bias towards either high or low self-disclosure. Meet Alex. Alex has a bias towards high self-disclosure, meaning he consciously or unconsciously opens the curtain to reveal what's happening on his backstage. This makes him effective at reaching out for help, building openness and trust with others, and expressing ideas or opinions authentically. However, Alex has to be careful that his high self-disclosure doesn't become a polar bias, one that is fixed. A polar bias towards high self-disclosure increases Alex's risk of disclosing too much to too many people, or making himself vulnerable because he has little distinction between those who can see his front and backstage. Meet Grace. Grace is low self-disclosing, meaning she carefully manages and controls what she presents on her front stage, keeping her backstage private. This makes her effective at putting on a professional performance. She is also able to hold confidences, be self-reflective, and share with just a few trusted intimates. However, Grace also has to be careful that her low self-disclosure doesn't become a polar bias. A polar bias towards low self-disclosure increases Grace's risk of becoming emotionally isolated, developing a very different front and backstage persona, and being unable to receive support from others. Now, let's meet Nadia. Nadia knows that to be socially and emotionally effective, she must be able to steer her self-disclosure from context to context, matching every situation. For example, when building feelings of trust or expressing herself authentically, Nadia can steer toward higher self-disclosure. On the other hand, in situations where she needs to hold back or present a more managed self, Nadia can steer toward lower self-disclosure. Nadia's steering increases her social-emotional agility and protects her against the social and mental health risks linked to polar biases. Be like Nadia and learn to steer your self-disclosure. You steer, driving next generation human skills.